Even though I'm proudly Filipino, I have to admit, I don't have a big appreciation of Filipino food. But that changed recently when I met two members of a family whose name has been linked to Filipino food for decades. So today, I'm gonna have a little bit of Filipino food 101 with the Aquino family. And our first stop, 49B Heirloom Kitchen. Let's go! I'm Richie Zamora, a food blogger who is really finicky with what he eats. I always thought I would outgrow this phase. And hey, who knows? Maybe that day will come soon. But until then, these are the true adventures of the pickiest eater in the world. My education in Filipino food began at 49B Heirloom Kitchen and my teachers, cousins Erica and Leonard of the Aquino family, a clan whose name has been intertwined with Filipino cuisine for over six decades. The beauty of 49B Heirloom Kitchen is that you feel right at home. It doesn't feel so much like a restaurant, but more like you're visiting your aunt's house for a family dinner. Every customer is treated like they're a member of the Aquino family. With a lineup of dishes so mouth-watering, I couldn't help but want to apply for legal adoption. Being a picky eater means that I usually have an aversion to most vegetables. I'm not sure what category to put the squash flour fritters in, but all I know was that they were absolutely delicious. Deep fried to a delicate crisp, the flowers are stuffed with an herb cheddar cheese that bursts into your mouth when you take a bite. This squash flour fritter is technically not a vegetable, it's a flower, so, well, it flowers grow on plants, so yeah, it, it is a vegetable, but this is an exception to the rule. Mm. Mix it with the marinara sauce. Fantastic. Mornings were always a treat in the Aquino household, as evidenced by Papa's tapa fried rice. These succulent strips of cured beef strip loin marinated in the family's secret rub would be more than enough to make breakfast complete for any family. I'm with Chef Erica Aquino of 49B Heirloom Kitchen. Okay. So tell us a little something about Papa's Tapa Fried Rice. Well, the recipe of the tapa is from my Lolo, mm -hmm. Leonardo. The fried rice is actually from my dad. Whenever he would cook my Lolo's tapa, he would cook the fried rice in the grease yep. of the tapa, you know, because he doesn't mind his blood pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Your father and I would get along beautifully. Yeah. You guys look alike. Actually. Really? Really? What a good looking guy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mixing the tapa into the rice was genius, really. Because it's a meal in itself. Top it off with egg. More protein. More protein. And you have yep. your vegetables also. Oh, is that what it's called? <laughs> vegetables, okay. <laughs> For our main course, I started off with one of the Aquino Sunday family favorites, the tamarind roast chicken. Rubbed in tamarind and other spices for a gentle touch of tanginess, a plump chicken is slow roasted to golden perfection and paired with a luscious tamarind gravy. Mmm, meat so juicy, bro. I love the gravy. Sana ang gravy to, chef. With Spanish culture being one of the major influences of Filipino cuisine, it comes to no surprise that Paella Valencia is part of 49B Heirloom Kitchen's menu. Filled with a medley of pork, chicken, and seafood on a bed of luscious oven-baked arabiata rice, the Paella Valencia masterfully captures the flavors of Spain. It's not what I'm looking for, Mark. Better. Coming from a family of lechoneros, a whole roasted pig would be brought to their home every Sunday for their family meal. One of the dishes they whipped up is the sinigang na lechon. When we were kids, we used to get so much lechon from our Lolo and mm -hmm. Lola. We got tired of eating it. So my mom would create all these recipes from the leftover lechon. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the favorites. Yeah, see, that's what you call uh, saucy problems. Too much lechon. <laughs> the meatiness of the lechon you can find right there. This is no joke. This is really lechon meat. Soup itself, it has that nice sour flavor that you look for in uh, sinigang without overdoing it. I can imagine this with rice, just pouring it over and just digging in. Mm, yeah, it's really just right. Nice balance, really. Do you want some rice with that? Yes, I have some rice. To give our meal a sweet ending, Chef Erica brought out her signature hot ginger banana brulee dessert, which was perfectly paired with a scoop of creamy vanilla ice cream. You know, there's this funny saying, Never make eye contact with another man while eating a banana. <laughs> mm. 
Rounding out the family affair were the amazing chocolate chip cookies that were baked by Chef Erica's youngest sister, Mary Ann. Best paired with a glass of cold milk. Now I'm telling you, this is one of the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. Inside it's moist. The chocolate chips are gooey. Everything you look for in a cookie. 49B Heirloom Kitchen is a great way for the Aquinos to usher in the new generation into the family business. But the true legacy of the Aquinos lies in their lechon. Leonardo's lechon has been in the heart of every celebration since 1947, with the business being passed down from generation to generation. Now in 2015, it's Nard Aquino that handles the operations of the lechon business, coming up with innovations that would make his grandfather proud. His greatest achievement? The carnivore lechon! Chon. Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> Hi, I'm Richie Zamora, the pickiest eater. I'm Nard Aquino of Leonardo's Lechon. Hi, I'm Richie Zamora, the pickiest eater. I'm Nard Aquino of Leonardo's Lechon. So how did your family get into the lechon business? So my lola started our lechonan in 1947. That was after the war. They came from the province, they moved to San Juan. And then my lola worked in the Palenque. They sold meat there. Mm -hmm. And then my lola would take in orders of lechon. Yeah. So after that, the next generation came and then my dad handled it. And now I'm handling our, our lechon business now. If you started in 1947, you've been so in the lechon business for? basically 68 years now. Yeah, 68 years, he's right. Just checking the math. That's why I became a food blogger, because I suck at math. <laughs> And then now what we have here is the carnivore lechon. This is just one of the many reasons why I've been asking to be a member of the Aquino family. <laughs> I can't wait any longer. Can we dig into this already? Yes, sir. All right, guys, ready? The carnivore lechon. Let's do this. A whole roast pig is stuffed with marble potatoes and three types of sausages. And the kicker, the sausages are also wrapped in bacon. So they chopped up a plate of the carnivore lechon for me and the meat, Beautiful lining of fat, nice ratio of fat to meat, and it's it's speckled in all these different herbs, so it helps bring out the flavor of the of the meat. Nice and juicy, really flavorful on its own. I know a lot of people eat lechon with sauce. This one's good to go. This sausage was wrapped in beautiful fatty bacon. Okay, see how beautiful that is. Not sure which one this is because there are three different kinds and. To be honest, I don't really care anymore. Mm -hmm. Lechon lovers' favorite part usually is the skin, right? Nice, cute, small piece of skin for me, right? Psych! <laughs> this is mine, but paper. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's awesome. Wow. Can you hear, can you hear that crispiness? No, I'll do it again. No, I'll do it again. Huh? And do it again. Great stuff, man. Leonardo Sachon, the carnivore. Awesome. Thank you, Chef Erica. Had a great time here at 49B Heirloom Kitchen. And Nard, Leonardo Sachon is really among the best in the country, no doubt. I have a question. Now, do I qualify as a member of the Aquino family? Oh, yes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Love you guys. With a name synonymous with food excellence, I couldn't help but feel nothing but pride that Nard and Erica accepted me as one of their own. It was our love of food that first brought us together, and it was our love for lechon that brought us even closer. So, Nard, Erica, when's the next family dinner? Thank you for watching the second episode of the Pickiest Eater web series. I'm really sorry it took so long. Life got in the way. and uh, But it's here now. And guess what? The third episode is coming pretty soon. You won't have to wait that long. Please subscribe to my channel. If you uh, have an idea of a place that you would like me to go to 
check out next. Leave a message in the comments, hashtag Pickiest Eater Checkout and the name of the restaurant. So again, thanks for watching Pickiest Eater, the web series, episode two. See you in episode three.